Hi everyone, Ryan from Foxtech here. If you've been trying to delete an iMessage app from your iPhone and found it a bit tricky, especially with the new iOS 17 update, you're not alone. In this video, I'm going to explain how to remove those iMessage apps and what's changed with the latest iOS version. Let's start with a quick overview of how iMessage apps work. Many of these apps are tied to full iPhone apps that you can use outside of iMessage. For example, Dropbox has a full version that you use on your iPhone and an integrated iMessage extension that lets you share files directly through iMessage. In earlier versions of iOS, you could remove these iMessage apps directly from within the Messages app itself, but with iOS 17, things are a bit different. Now, if you want to remove an iMessage app that is connected to a regular iPhone app, you'll need to delete the entire app from your device. This means that both the full app and its iMessage extension will be removed at the same time. It's an all-or-nothing approach, so keep that in mind if you want to get rid of the iMessage extension. However, if you want to keep the main app but just get rid of its iMessage functionality, you can manage this through your iPhone's Settings app. Here's how you can do it. First, open the Settings app on your iPhone and scroll down to select Messages. Once you're in the Messages settings, Look for the iMessage Apps section. Inside, you'll find two categories, Only in Messages and Included with an App. The Only in Messages section lists apps that exist solely within iMessage. These are apps that don't have a standalone version. The Included with an App section, on the other hand, lists apps that have both a full version and an iMessage extension. From here, you can enable or disable the iMessage extension for any app without deleting the full app from your iPhone. This is a great way to declutter your Messages app while still keeping the apps you need on your device. So, whether you're looking to free up some space in your Messages app or just want to manage which apps appear in iMessage, this method gives you full control. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving it a thumbs up. See you guys later.